Y'all want to see something cool? So, this, you can see right there, this is a NASA designed 3D printable ratchet wrench. Now, this was originally designed, it has a power rating of 3 inch pounds, so it's not not terribly strong. You're not going to go work on an engine block with this thing or anything. But this was developed and designed so that it could be the the file could be transmitted up to the space station so that they could use their onboard 3D printers to make this because I guess they needed it for something. And weight is a big restricting factor when you're going up into space, so they have the ability to make things up there. So I just printed this on my Creality uh, Vent, uh, Ender 3 V3KE with the Micro Swiss Flowtech hot end on it. And I printed it in Acidity Clear PETG. Now, it may actually have a little bit more rating than 3 inch pounds because this was originally printed in uh, just PLA. But it's a print in place. It prints just like that. So, uh, and it works. You have, if you see this, th it's got some, uh, it's print in place. So you got the little gear teeth on there. I don't know if y'all can see that, but you got the little gear teeth on there. And this is basically just the ratcheting mechanism right here. And um, it works. See, I can't, I can't turn it that way. I'm going to try to get it to where y'all can see it work. Um, there it goes. See? See? There you go, 3D printable um, ratcheting wrench that you can, it's a print in place, took, um, shoot it didn't even take that long, I didn't even think it'd take an hour, but um, really, really neat, and it just shows what you can do with 3D printing. You know, if you had an ability to uh, print in metal, or even print with uh, like powdered nylon or something in an SLS machine, this would be even stronger. So, really cool. You can find this on Thingiverse. If you just search, Google search um, NASA 3D printed ratchet wrench, it'll come up. It's a free file. You just download it and print it. But, just thought y'all would think that was cool. So, thank you.